What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Doom's updated RTX DLSS on PC. Starting off in the settings here, we're 1440p, full screen, no motion blur on here. Um, we are ray tracing on and DLSS on balanced. Uh, you could run quality, you could run um, DL ray tracing off and still get the benefits of DLSS. Uh, but for this we want to go for ray tracing and balanced on DLSS. Now, if you try to pick ultra in your settings, I'll show you what's going to happen with that. Also, you've got the dynamic resolution, which I tend to leave on here. But with that, we are going to push our VRAM on the RTX 2060. And while I could still run it that way, I have a certain target I want here. So we're going to go ahead and back this down to high so that we're running the high preset with ray tracing on and DLSS on a balanced. This is going to give me exactly what I want, staying well above 60 FPS, usually between 80 and 100. We can still go over 100 and we shouldn't dip below 60 at any point in the game at least that i've found so far so there's a lot you could do with your settings that's a great thing about pc do what you want that works for you here but for me for my target what i wanted to do where i want this game to run and how i wanted to show it this is it for now so let's jump over into the gameplay here everything ran really really well i was very surprised this game is well optimized to begin with no issues with cpu or gpu and everything with the ray tracing and the lss was working great in the game it looks great super responsive and like I said, with these settings at 1440p, with the RTX 2060, I'm able to get the kind of performance that I want here. Now, later on in the video, you will see some dips down close to 60, around 65, 68, and that's part of the reason why I had the settings the way that they are. But during a majority of the gameplay, you will get 80, 90, and 100 some frames per second this way. All right, guys, that's Doom Eternal with the PC update for ray tracing and DLSS running on the RTX 2060. I've got a lot of different gameplay here for you to check out if you want to hang out and see a little bit more. All right, as always, thanks a lot for coming to watch. Really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.